Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For you who don't know me, my name is Boka. So for you today, I did this um, old Hollywood glam look with um, red lipstick and simple eyeliner. Stay with me and see how I did this. Okay, we're gonna start. So for my primer today, I'm gonna be using Joan Cosmetics Glow Activator Primer. This primer is really good. You can get it in CVS, Bain Reed. It's a pharmacy brand. It fills out the pores very well. It works well with a lot of foundation. I always applying primer with my fingers. It's just much faster. But when I'm doing makeup on something else, I use a brush. For my foundation today, I'm also gonna be using Joan Cosmetics Truly Yours Foundation. I fall in love with this brand. The way I discovered it a couple months ago, I got a present, it was couple of these foundations, a primer and lip liner, and I really like it. Now I start buying it for myself, it's really good. And it's very affordable. When I have foundation like this dripping from my face, I feel like commercial for ice cream. And I will apply foundation with the Farah Stippling FM brush. It's much easier to apply foundation with a brush and much faster. But also, you should go over with the beauty blender just to give it that perfect finish. I start working out, so my skin is just like glowing. I love it. Don't forget ears when you have your hair up. For my concealer, I'm gonna be using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This concealer is very good. Drunk Cosmetics has uh, their own their concealer. It's similar packaging like this, but I don't like it. And it's practical. This packaging is it's so not hygienic. And this concealer is very nice. It's very light, and it never leaves that uh, crease under your eyes. And also same as uh, foundation, I like to apply my concealer with a brush. This is Real Technique Creaseless Brush. And after I blend it out with the brush, I just go over with the beauty blender. This concealer is so nice, it's blending so well. And also one trick, you go back with the foundation brush and just blend it out the edges between the concealer and foundation because you still have leftovers of foundation and which is a little bit darker than concealer so it just makes everything seamless I will set everything with a Laura Mercy translucent powder I'm just gonna be using more powder brush and tap it out I'm gonna contour a little bit today, and for that I'm gonna be using Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette by Tarte. And I'm gonna use Morphe S13 brush with the shade Princess Cut. I'm gonna do my dark contours. This palette smells so nice. I feel so pretty today. Everything is like, seems effortless. I hope I'm not gonna jinx it now. And you wanna dark it up a forehead a little bit to go into hairline. And it's so weird. So my hair, it's really thick, but over here it's like I don't have a hair. I don't know. And again, when you're doing your chin contours, you're supposed to go from behind the ear. So it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. Today I tried for the first time one self tanning lotion. I hope it's gonna work well. I didn't put on my face, just on my body. I don't go tanning anymore, but I do miss being dark. Usually most of them uh, I tried before, after I apply, it doesn't matter how much I'm trying not to 
you know, put the clothes on right away or to put everywhere equally, I still ended up with the patches. So, hope this is gonna work, this one gonna work. I really do feel very pretty. Oh my God, I finally got rid of that third eye I had for weeks. Maybe that's why I, I like it. For a blush, I'm gonna be using Laura Mercy palette, cheek canvas. And I will mix these two pink shades. Because I'm gonna have a red lipstick and I'm gonna have pinky cheeks. And for that, I'm gonna be using Farah Cheeky and 218 brush. And for a bronzer, I'm gonna go back to Park Avenue Princess palette and go to Shade Crown. And I'm gonna use Real Technique Blush Brush. Just to darken up a little bit more. Setting spray time. I'm gonna be using Tarte Stay Spray. I never skip this step. My skin is very tricky. If I don't use primer and setting spray, the makeup literally just not staying on. And it doesn't matter what kind of makeup I'm using, it just flies off. I just, I just realized I forgot to uh, use Beauty Blender. Well, it is what it is. For a highlight, I'm going to be using Space Case Cosmetics. Steam from Space 1B. And I'm going to apply it to the Beauty Blender. I really like to put creamy highlight under powder highlight. Everything just stays much better. I'm feeling myself today. And on top of that, I'm gonna use Urban Decay Naked Illuminating Highlight in the shade Aura. And just with the brush which comes with the missile, just go over a little bit. And that's it. Okay, eyebrow time. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using Brow Zinc Pro Palette. This was really great purchase. I'm in love with this palette. It has everything you need for eyebrows. And I'm gonna be using the brush which can be the palette. I was obsessed with Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow for me. But now I can switch to benefit about the eyebrows. I love their eyebrow products. Of course, I still love Anastasia Beverly Hills for all of that. But this is just much easier to work with. When I'm going full glam, I go with the deep brow pomade. Yeah. And I got lucky. My eyebrows are so easy to do. And eyebrows are done. I'm not gonna go crazy with the eyeshadows. I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrazi palette and with the shade OG, I'm just gonna define my crease. And for that, I'm gonna be using Farah blending brush, a little bit fluffier blending brush. And I'm gonna apply the same shade under my eyes with the Farah 3 mini tapper blending brush. And now the fun part, eyeliner. The way how I'm doing my eyeliner, I'm just following the bottom line of my eye and just continue it up. And for eyeliner, I'm gonna be using Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. I need a mirror closer. And I'm gonna try to do the same on the other eye.
that's it and under my eye and for my waterline i'm gonna go with the l'oreal black eyeliner i'm gonna curl my lashes and i'm gonna use Viacel vinyl couture mascara for me curling my lashes is very important because my lashes are super small. I'm also gonna highlight under my eyebrow with that highlight I was using earlier, Face Case Cosmetics, and I'm gonna use a flat brush for that. This is just a little thing that makes everything so much prettier. And it's time for lips, for my lip liner. I'm going to be using Joanne Cosmetics Lip Liner, Lip Candy, inspired by K-Beauty. This lip liner I tried before and it's very nice, it's very creamy and it stays a long time. And I'm going to use YSL Lipstick. This shade is so beautiful, I love it. It's so rich and creamy, I'm obsessed. This is my favorite red lipstick. And that's it, this is the finish look. I love red lipstick. I feel literally like a different person when I'm wearing red lipstick. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel and maybe share this video. And please let me know in the comments what would you like to see next. And I see you next time. Bye.